D-S-L-R Film. Noob. All right, guys, so what I've got for you today is the Ceramonic mix mic. This is an XLR audio adapter for your DSLR camera and the nice thing about this is it's set up more like the very expensive Sony XLR K1M and that it goes on the top of your camera and provides a nice holster for a boom mic so you can attach that directly to your camera. Uh, this does come with the mic and it's priced significantly better than most of its competition. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. All right, taking a look inside the kit, we've got a manual here, we've got a warranty card, we've got a microphone, this is a nice red SRNV5 from Ceremonic that comes with the kit, looks pretty nice. We've got a couple of things in here, looks like a rubber grommet of some kind, probably for the suspension system. We've got a dead cat, not the best looking dead cat I've seen, but uh, not bad overall, comes with it and at a very affordable price. We've got the mix mic itself, which is a dainty, cute little guy. And we have an extra XLR audio cable. I do prefer the curly cables over these straight cables, but this is small, petite, and it feels like it has really decent connectors for something of this price. A lot of these units don't come with XLR cables. That's it for inside the box. Taking a look at the front of the device, we've got a regular on and off switch for both input one and input two. We've also got the switch up here, which allows you to gang the output of channel one to channel one and channel two for a stereo output on your camera. We've also got a zero, 10, and 20 dB of gain switch here, as well as mic and phantom power for both the one and two inputs. You can go line or whatever. We've got the regular volume controls that you would expect on this with a zero to 10 dB of gain. Flipping it over, we have an input one as well as an input two. And you can see that the input one is raised just a little bit compared to input two. So even if you can't see the mic inputs, you can find them by feel. I was looking for something to compare the Ceremonic Mix Mic microphone to, and I thought the K1M XLR kit mic would probably be a good option. I've got the Ceremonic mic that comes with the Mix Mic on one channel on the Mix Mic system, and I've got the Sony C1M that comes with the K1M XLR kit on the other channel feeding the mix mic into my Panasonic GH4. These mics come with completely different price kits. The mix mic will set you back around $299 to $300, while the K1M XLR kit from Sony will set you back somewhere in the range of $700, maybe $800, depending on which flavor you buy. Uh, these two mics, I've listened to samples already, and I can tell you that they sound very, very similar. But I'll have the audio in the crotch bar below so you can download and listen to both of these mics and see how they compare and contrast. You don't really have to worry about running out of cold shoe adapters on your camera because you've got one right here and it's attached pretty securely. Flipping this guy over, we've also got the cold shoe adapter at the top as well as this mic managing cable holder system so you don't have to worry about your cables flopping about. Taking a closer look at the build quality of the Ceramonic Mix Mic, it is mostly plastic. There are a few metal bits like the cold shoe adapter and the XLR inputs, the buttons, all the rest of the interface, and basically everything on here is made out of plastic. Now that is a little bit weaker build than some of its competition, but this does offer up a lot of value for its price. I've heard a lot of grumbling about nine volt batteries in your audio adapter system. This XLR audio adapter from Ceramonic is no exception. It uses a nine volt battery, and that's kind of what you have to deal with if you want good, clean phantom power from your XLR adapter. All right, so for this last audio test, I'm using a significantly more expensive microphone. This is the Sennheiser MKH416, and this microphone will set you back around $1,000. It is being fed phantom power from the Ceramonic mix mic, and that is feeding the audio into my Panasonic GH4. I wanted to test this mic because this is a mic I'm really used to using on a lot of different devices, including my Tascam and my Zoom H4 and H6. This mic has been on a lot of stuff and I've used it quite a bit, so I'm kind of used to what it sounds like. And I'm wearing headphones right now and I'm listening to my own voice into the GH4 and out of the GH4 headphone jack, and I don't hear any kind of coloration happening to my voice with this mic. And that's what I'd want to expect out of a 
preamp going into my camera. I don't want any sort of uh, low pass or high pass changes to the audio. I don't want it to sound a little more tinny and I don't want to lose any of the bass. And it sounds like it normally does to me. And this will probably help a number of you if you're used to using sort of industry standard microphones. This is a good mic and it sounds good through the Ceremonic mix mic. I've been testing out the Ceremonic mix mic system for about four weeks now and I've taken it to the Midwest, taken it to the coast, taken it up to Seattle to shoot some things and I've taken it down to Portland as well as California to shoot with this little guy. And I have to say, as someone who's shot on almost every XLR audio adapter for a DSLR kit, this is an extremely good value. At $299, you get a freaking microphone, you get two XLR inputs that provide phantom power, and you get it to mount on the top of your camera instead of underneath your camera, which can be a pain for battery access and a number of other things with many of the other devices. The controls are straightforward and simple and easy to use, and it sounds really good. The included mic also sounds extremely good, especially when compared to the kit mic that comes with the $700 K1M XLR audio adapter made by Sony for the A7 series cameras. This thing has all the bells and whistles, and it sounds great. If you're in the market for an XLR audio adapter, you can't go wrong with the Ceremonic Mix Mic. There are two downsides that I've found with this, and they're minor, very minor. Uh, one is the fact that it runs on 9 volt batteries. If you don't like 9 volt batteries, the only option out there right now is the Asden XLR audio adapter. I believe that one uses four AA batteries. So if you really have to have AA batteries, that's probably where you're gonna wanna look. The other downside is that this is made out of plastic, whereas the Beach Tech and the Juice Link are made out of solid metal. Now, saying that, remember that the $700 plus K1M XLR audio adapter for my Sony a7S is also made mostly out of plastic. So is it a real downside? you know, don't throw it on the ground or step on it and you'll probably be okay. At this price, with an included mic, you really can't go wrong with the Ceremonic Mix Mic. This is a great freaking XLR audio adapter. As you can see, I'm nursing a pretty decent sunburn I got on the coast this weekend, but you can find the audio samples that I mentioned in the crotch bar below. You can find a full write-up over at dslrfilmnoob.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.